Hello everyone, this is uh, Violi's husband Michael. Welcome to another edition of Violi's Home and Garden. In this edition, um, what I, I'm going to show you how to clean uh, carpets that people throw away. And you may have carpets that you're considering tossing out. I picked up these two. I haven't even opened them up uh, to see what they are. I just got them to show you how to uh, clean carpets. This is not, doesn't have a hallmark on it, but it's a very well made carpet. Oh, this one is horribly stained in the back, but it's not cat <coughs> or rat urine, which you'd be able to smell. Those you can't clean for anything. So. Here we go, looking at the first carpet. Uh, looks like a designer carpet. Again, there's no hallmarks on, on the back of this carpet. And this one appears to be made out of cotton. This one is possibly rayon or polyester mix. But with the size of both these carpets, you treat them just the same. So let me get started on this. Okay, what we got here are two carpets that I picked up at random while we were out looking for things. I'm not interested in the design or anything other than showing folks how to get these rugs and clean them. You may look at your rug and find out it's dirty and the cost of cleaning these rugs oftentimes costs more than the carpet itself so people toss these out what you have here are the things you need to work on your carpet and i will show you how to use these as um, i go along now the thing is they always tell you never do what i'm do going to do to carpets which is to wash them and i will show you the steps on what you need to do to reinvigorate your carpet or carpets that you may find. When you inspect your carpet, the very first thing you want to do is turn it over. That will really show you what's going on with your carpet. You can see where you need to work. Okay, the first thing you do before you do do the back is vacuum it and I want to show you a trick that I love because it brings up the dirt from be, from uh, in the rug itself and you get to see just how dirty it is let me show you I have a blower standard blower So, as you can see, it brings up a whole lot of sand and dirt, and when you do this, you can actually see how clean this rug is. Oftentimes, nothing will come up. Other times, it'll look like it's a dirt pile. So, I'm going to continue on doing what I did. You do the same thing, can do the same thing on these rugs, and then I will vacuum them. At that point, uh, I'll turn them over and start cleaning them. Now that I've use the blower beneath both rugs I'm uh, vacuuming them and you'll be surprised what a difference that that alone can make on a rug oftentimes that's enough to do for a rug again I'm going through the whole cycle to show uh, how these rugs are treated and they're basically all treated the same some rugs are too big to uh, hose down and stuff 
and in that case that's where your uh, vacuums and your uh, carpet cleaners shampooing and all that uh, will work when you do this when you use the um, blower now surprisingly this rug is a lot has a lot less dirt on top than the one on the left yet is horribly stained so now once I finish this I will turn them over and start working on them I'm going to show you the mixing formula for all rugs and the actual amounts will vary depending on what you need to do with the rug now if you got a real dirty rug which I like I do on the left here I use baking soda apple cider and a little bleach now if it's uh, of just your standard carpet and it's clean or you know you're touching just touching your carpet then it's uh, liquid detergent clothes and um, softener for freshness so you can buy rent your uh, steam cleaner or uh, and pay for the cleaner that goes with it you always see hey use the specific cleaner for the um, brand but that's not true what I just showed you right now uh, or you avoid the warranty right cause damage not true um, I've cleaned hundreds and hundreds of carpets using the same exact formula like I say the carpet call it the green carpet green gold carpet on the left uh, needs some serious work where the stains are so in this aspect I will add a bucket of this and let it soak and then we'll work on um, the other rug Of course, depending on how dirty your rug is, we'll tell you how much you need to scrub it, scrub out the stains. This is a lot of people call this the drudge work, but guess what? This is where you get your carpet totally redone, looking like brand new. I have clean and have possession of hand tied rugs, silk rugs, tufted rugs machine made rugs from all over the world that people they just roll them up toss them out some are in perfect condition some are in deplorable conditions and this is what you do when you come back with a gorgeous rug now all the materials I can clean the same way with the exception of wool and wool cotton blend. When they get order, odors or stains, almost impossible to get, get out. Harder to dry is the big problem and they always come out with some sort of smell. So let me get back to work here. My hose is down already. I have disinfected it from the backside. I know where it's heavily stained and we're concentrate the scrubbing and everything else. Now, some people will never do this, but let me tell you, it's a great workout. Okay, so far, to recap, we got these rugs, um, picked them off the street, in the curb, all rolled up. I grabbed these two, brought them home, and have since been cleaning them. Rug on the left appears to be cotton, the blue one, the rug on the right appears to be some sort of uh, rayon. Uh, I've disinfected the backs of both of these rugs with the formula I spoke of. 
and then turned them over, hosed them down in the front, and uh, got to scrubbing on these, which was a whole lot of fun. That's that's the workout, like I was saying. No problem with that. Now we're on the back stretch of this. What I'm going to be doing now is just <coughs> hosing them down to remove the soap. In some cases, depending on how dirty they are, I actually would use uh, like outdoor rugs and whatnot, a uh, uh, pressure washer. You can do that depending on the the material. And of course, be careful, test the sample, make sure you don't tear through it. And now I will be rinsing these off and using the steam cleaners to pick up excess water. And once I'm done with that, I'll be hanging these on a fence to dry. So let me get back to this and then we'll go into the picking up the water off of this. All right, now we're going, we're on the back side of this thing. And I'm going to use this uh, steam cleaner to pick up the water. You can also roll the rug up and set it on the side. And it's uh, standing on its end. You'll be able to do that also, but just uh, for expediency, I normally do that first and then come back and do this. But I'm gonna, you know, I wanna show you how this is done. So you can also, if this is all you need for your rug, this is all you need. I've taken you through all the other steps for a, a thorough deep cleansing that uh, revitalizes the rug. And even if you look at it now, you can see it looks way better than when I picked it up at random uh, on the curb. tell a lot about the rug by what's coming up in this case it's all clear like I said this is a fairly clean rug and you know where the, you'll be able to see where the stains are once I get on the other rug you'll see what I mean look how clear this is okay I was uh Okay, I was talking about how clean a rug is. You'll find out when you do this after you pour the water out from the steamer. And as you can see, this is pretty much looks like the formula I put in, showing you that it is a relatively clean rug. It's disinfected. Now, once I do this, we'll see the difference between the green gold rug. The other rug was clean. Uh, really clean looks really good. This was horribly stained. I normally would pass on it, but uh, come see what it does now Yeah All right, here we are. Almost at the end of our rug tutorial cleaning. Mm, this rug, cotton rug, uh, what do you call it? About five by seven or something. Uh, made out of uh, cotton. Took very little cleaning uh, to do. Came back real nice. Took. Uh, two washes and two rinses to get to this level. Now this bad boy was filthy dirty. Um, it took like four washes and like six rinses to get it to this level. So at this point I'll be rolling them up and hanging them. I'll show you that on the fence in just a moment. And uh, let them dry. Here, right now it's kind of stormy weather and if it rains that's fine because um, it'll help rinse out the carpets that much more okay here we are in our backyard and I've hung the rugs on our fence to dry right now it's very overcast and we'll probably get some stormy weather but that's just fine because 
the next day can be quite hot to dry out these rugs and it will only help to rinse the rug. So as you can see, this is the blue rug and this is the gold green rug. The blue rug will take longer to dry because it's cotton. So in a couple days I will uh, show you. It'll be probably the next scene, of course, and finish out the rugs then. It's been about two days for these rugs to dry. The blue one is still damp. Like I said, it's cotton. And this one um, dried very well. It's it has no hallmark. You can see it's frayed on the edges. And besides being stained is probably why they uh, threw it away, but you've seen the process it took to get it this far. And it's in good shape. It's pliable. It's um, not a bad rug. This one, like I say, it's, I picked them both at random. Uh, and it just needs to dry. There's no issues. This is an older rug, but it has a lot of life left to it also. I will uh, show you uh, some of the rugs that I, I collect myself later. So let me get these done. Okay, now you've seen how the carpets are clean and the methods you can use to clean any carpet basically from anywhere your own, the ones you pick up. You might be curious about the kind of carpets I and that we've collected. So let me take you through Fioli's, uh, our garden here. We'll go in through the back door and I'll show you some of our carpets. Welcome to Violi's Home and Garden. Welcome to Violi's home, our home. This is a um, hand tied carpet, also called a magic carpet, made in the Middle East. And you'll see there's no tassels. I cut them off because they're really a hassle on the vacuum cleaners. Here is a name brand rug. Again, all of these use the same methods that I showed you. We showed you on the video. And if you followed our videos, that's our dog star. If you followed our videos, you'll know I get bicycles and that people toss out. And these are some of the things they also toss out. Chinese rugs, Turkish rugs, rugs made in America, rugs from all over the world, of all tufted, of all sorts of different designs and styles people throw out. And these are just a couple examples, few examples of the rugs I've collected. And I have a rather large collection in the garage, but they're all rolled up. This is Violi's kitchen. And her rug. And then you look long enough, clean enough, know what you're looking for. You might stumble upon an 8x12 hand tied rug. Now, this rug has the hallmark, the registration number, the, even the phone number and barcode to a hand tied rug that is absolutely spectacular. And the cost of these starting around five thousand dollars this rug took me a long time whoever threw it out threw it out because of the smell and it took me maybe uh, a week or more of cleaning and conditioning the rug but this is what I get anyway I hope you enjoyed watching the rug about how to clean clean your own rugs I'll be showing you more and uh, please subscribe to Violi's Home and Channel and you can learn a lot more about these things. Thank you for watching.